We're getting some hot water. We're going to wash the biodiesel. I just poured off the glycerin off the bottom of the tank. Here we go. We're going to pour the water in. It's hard to see, but there's a layer of clear on the bottom. It goes to about there. So we're going to add some more water until we get up to the 10 gallon mark. Now that I got the light near the bottom of the tank on the other side here, you can really see the difference between the biodiesel on top and the wash water on the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some more wash water. I just got the first one in there now and uh, see how the color is of that wash water as it's coming out. Typically you need to let this settle for uh, they say two to three hours and the cloudier the wash water that comes out then you have to wash it again. So you may have to wash it four or five times but because this is a virgin oil, uh, virgin oil uh, you generally don't have to wash it all that much because it's, it's not a lot of impurities in this oil. So we're draining the wash water now. As you can see it has a, a bit of a yellow tinge to it. So that shouldn't really be there on your final wash. It should be mainly clear. And then you know the biodiesel is clean. This is the second wash. And it's quite a lot less color in there, so we're on the right track here. You can see it's pretty clear coming out. So we're washing the biodiesel right now. You can see it's bubbling away and it's slowly getting more clear. And what we're using are these stainless, actually aquarium heaters from UtahBiodieselSupply.com. They come in various sizes. These are the 250 watt, but uh, it says on here up to 300, but anyway. $40 each, and we've got two of them in here. So let's just try and pull one up here, see what they look like. That's what they look like. It's just a stainless rod. It goes in there, and then there's a temperature sensor. That's part of it. And then on the actual heaters, you've got this uh, dial setting here, so we've just got it on the max setting. We've got two of these in here, just to heat it up a little quicker and it's nice and warm. And then we've got this uh, aquarium pump here. It's got double outputs going to a Lee's wood air stone. You can't use the regular air stones because the regular air stones uh, don't last in this stuff. They basically corrode really quickly. So you can see there's looks like some water in the bottom here. As you uh, clear the diesel with the air stone, more water will come out in the bottom here. Looks like the separation's right there. It's hard to see though but that'll be more evident in the next few days as this clears up. So that's how you clear the wash water out of the diesel. And the only other thing that I've done is I've got this uh, pH probe here and you stick that in there and you want to get probably under seven and a half or something like that um, or under eight anyhow for your final diesel uh, biodiesel product but I still have to do some research to see what the ideal pH is but you're going to need one of these pH meters and if the pH is too high alkaline from the KOH then you need to wash some more and uh, get the excess KOH out of your fuel. Mm -hmm.